Essa. Hello, hello. Does anybody know if there's comments? Hello, hey, Shauna Jackson. Oh, nice. I got the comments on you guys. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Hey, there, there are. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is my first time uh, getting comments on you guys. Last time I couldn't figure it out, but I think I figured it out. I needed to, I think I sent it. Oh, I mean, I said it as uh, the video was made for kids. It was a little mistake. I'm all good. How about yourself? Hey, I was blessed. Cowboys Nation. Nice. Don't worry about the Pittsburgh over there. And that Pittsburgh right there. <laughs> but my brother-in-law's a cowboy. So I, I actually uh, learned how to make a hat a long time ago. By, I, uh, I kind of forgot, so I'm trying to run through. I believe it goes like this. Goes over. It's just weaving, just weaving. I know the bigger you want the rim, the more you want to weave it. So I believe it's like this. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. So what did I do? One, two, three, four, five, under. So one, two, three, four, five, and then under. Yeah, I think this is how you guys make the rim, all right? So you guys see how I did that? So I'm trying to uh, remember how to make the hat so I can make, uh, I'm gonna make a video. So I believe the, the wider you want the hat, uh, the more leaves you gotta weave through. So how I did that, all, all I did was take the first one, you just go, you just weave it through over, under, over. I did five, four, and then five, and then place it under, and go inside like this. Hey, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for uh, hopping in the live. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my uh, YouTube page as well. So I'm gonna keep on going. Two, three, four, and this is how you make the rim. What's everybody doing for uh, Halloween? Any plans? Any plans, you guys? Chilling not much. Nice, yeah, same here. It's, uh, we're not really supposed to be doing anything. I couldn't tell you how to do it because I never tried on one too. Oh yeah, sorry. So you see that? Now I'm making the rim like that it's pretty repetitive you just got to keep on going I know you got to go all the way around and another thing is the circle over here the opening you got to make sure it fits your head first before you close it like that over under over under usually um, here in Hawaii Usually here in Hawaii, the um, Halloween is, is pretty big. A lot of people dress up and just walk around. A lot of the grown-ups dress up and walk around Waikiki. Sorry guys, I'm trying to make it stable so you guys can see what's going on. See that? Where you guys, uh, where's everybody from? Where you guys watching from? Texas? Oh, that's why you're at Cowboys? 
Oh, Hawaii, much respect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so, so I know that's how you make the rim right there. You just gotta keep it going all the way around. It's night for me, so Halloween is almost over and it's just gonna dress up and go out trick or treating. But this year I can't because COVID. Yeah, same, same over here. Same over here. Halloween is really big over here. People always dress up. But just this year, because of COVID, they're uh, encouraging everyone to stay in. So everyone pretty much. Uh, Hey, what's up? How you doing? Well, Cowboys, Cowboys Nation, I, I'll show you this, Cowboys. So, remember I told you my brother and my brother-in-law is a cowboy. He did a painting, and that was just the star that he used. He's a Cowboys fan. That's the only star we got over here. But the rest are still. As just be, we're Steelers because uh, we grew up in Pittsburgh as well. Really? What was the painting about? Oh, he, he, he was uh, doing some canvas because I also do canvases. So he was doing some canvases with me and he wanted to make a cowboy's canvas. So he used that. He did a drawing and then he used that as the star. Wait, are you talking about Leffa Lex or no? No, 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 not Leffa, not Leffa. Uh, is uh is another another one of, one of the other usos my brother-in-law his name is uh mace his name is mace but leffa always comes and uh does paintings over here as well there you get look you guys coming out so that's the rim right there again for those who just hopped in i know it looks confusing but you just gotta work with what's in front of you, all right? So we gotta take the outside. You gotta weave it over, under, over, under, over. And then the last one that you go under. Here, can you guys see this? So the last one that you go under, you gotta put it through the, the middle here. Put it right through the middle. So you see, now these are all that's left. So you don't worry about the ones that's in the middle because that's what's going to be used for the top. All you got to worry about is the ones that are down here. I know it looks confusing, but it is a little. Get the tea leaves, I think it's called. Oh, these are, these are coconut leaves. These ones are coconut leaves. Oh my God. Oh, I thought I missed one. I was like, oh, that's the worst if you... That's the worst part. Whenever you uh, go all the way to the end and you miss one leaf, man, you gotta start all over again. So same thing. Gotta keep on going. That. So this is where you combine, this is where you attach it to the front. So remember, this is the first one that we did. So it's the same thing. You're just gonna go over and right through the middle, all right? So you just gotta try to imagine keeping the, uh, the pattern going. You gotta keep that pattern going. You guys have any questions for me? Any questions?
when did I learn how to make this coconut hat? Um, I learned it a long time ago. I learned it probably when I was like 13, 13 maybe, 13 or 14. It's a long, and I'm, I'm 31 now, I'm 31 years old. So it's been a while since I made a, a hat. But there's a lot of different ways as well to make hats. that I almost missed this one. Dang. I think I caught it. Chicken's coming up. Hey, what's up everybody? Hello, Chad. If you're new to the show, just uh, showing guys how we make some coconut hats. Well, I'm trying to rem remember how to make it been a while so same thing I got four pieces left all right and that's how you make the rim have you guys seen all my uh, videos that I've been posting the latest one oh. Under. the one from the world fire knife competition The one on uh, YouTube, the one on YouTube. The full, uh, the full routine. All right, got three more left. Got to try to find a way to squeeze it in here. three over under three wait where are you right now I'm, I'm at home I'm at my house in uh, Hawaii I live in Hawaii you guys Nice, nice. Thank you, thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm currently trying to hit that 4,000 mark. Oh, sheesh. Chickens are going crazy. I'm trying to reach that 4,000 mark, you guys. So every little bit helps and I appreciate you guys very much. So I got two pieces left. Dang, I thought I was gonna forget how to make this. It's foreigners visiting Hawaii. It took, it looks really, nah, 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 nah. That's just, uh, that's just what, what's it called? Um, we love you guys. We love everybody. Uh, in Hawaii, they, they say we have the aloha spirit. Aloha means the, the loving spirit. So it's all love. Uh, to me, what I think is people just don't like when it's uh, disrespected because uh, we're, we're, we're very cautious with like the land and, and uh, you know, the things that we do here. 
But we love, we love all people. We love everyone. But to us, it's all about respect. Respect the land, respect, you know, the people, have love and use manners. That's what, that's what the whole, uh, all the islands are about. All right, almost there, you guys. Hey, that was the last one. All right, so there's the rim. Let me just straighten it now. Now this is the time you just straighten it out. Try to make it even. You gotta make it tighter. You just make sure you pull. So to make it tighter, make it tighter, all you gotta do is just pull the leaves. All the excess leaves. that so that just to make it tighter oh i see one day i'll visit what is this hat for uh this hat is just to uh practice i was gonna make a tutorial on a short tutorial on tiktok and then a long tutorial on um on youtube but i didn't want to make the tutorial and i i didn't remember how to make it <laughs> so this is just to practice you guys but at least you guys are watching it live, you know what I mean? Like, you get to see it firsthand before I make the actual video. Because a lot of times, uh, some people say, how was your day? Hey, I was blessed, I was blessed, my friend. Sometimes, uh, some people don't think I make the things that I make. But you guys are watching it firsthand. Okay. So yeah, this is the, actually some people like to leave it just like this too, see this? Hey, how's that look? Is that cool? Some people like to just leave it like this, so it doesn't cover the top of the head, it's nice and cool, just blocks the Locks the bottom. How's that look, you guys? Look pretty cool. How did I learn to make it? I'm pretty good. Uh, my uncle actually taught me how to make it. So this is actually the same way that you can make a bowl. You can make a bowl this way as well. This way. But to make to make the bowl, you gotta pull it. You gotta pull it a little bit tighter. Yeah, let me. Sorry, I don't have a, a stand. But to make the bowl, this is another way to make a bowl. You just gotta all these leaves. You gotta pull it really tight, and then it, once the tighter you pull it, the more round it'll come like that. And then the bottom, all you gotta do, all you gotta do for the bottom. See, it's almost closed. You just pretty much just weave it around. So there's another way to make it happen. I mean, a uh, bowl. So that's the top piece right there. I mean, the rim. Now the top piece is uh, that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother braid. So I know you got to do it in order. You got to make sure you line up all the leaves in order. before you start.
Thank you guys for watching. All right. So you see, now the top piece, you gotta start from, uh, from one side. Just make sure everything is all good. Now this one, this one's a little confusing. This one, it's just like how we weave the pali, except you're gonna only work with one side now. See this? So you gotta go, you gotta flip it. You start with one, and this one's hard too because you gotta make sure you don't touch the other leaves. So we'll work with these four. We'll work with four, four leaves just like that. Right? So you're gonna go. The trick here is you wanna you wanna twist it under. All right. Once you twist it under, then you can start weaving. So I think we're gonna try to make this one a little bit higher. So I think I'm gonna go five, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna weave it through five leaves, all right? So I just weaved it right through. I know it looks confusing, you guys. It is a little bit confusing. Hey, what's up, CJ Piffs? How you doing, my friend? Yes. Uh, so I'm showing everyone how to uh, weave a, a coconut hat, man. How you doing, CJ? So same thing. It's all about that twist, all right? So you got to twist the first one, and then you can weave one. So one, two, three, four, and then five right there. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, this is confusing. Three, one, two, three. Oh, there it is. Four and five. Whoo, that's a tough one. watching that so I, I think I'm gonna go six make it a little bit higher you guys so I'm gonna I'm restart it again all right so one the flip two three four uh, it's all right I'll make it four I'll just go four all right and then you want to tuck it under this leaf right here on the, on the rim you want to tuck it through the rim that then go to the next one same thing one two three and, and four hey sounds good sounds good like that you guys this is another thing you got to be aware of is if the if the yellow stem if the yellow stem is facing one way you got to make sure they're all facing the same way in order for it to come out nicely you got to make sure they're all facing the same way same thing three four <laughs> Where do you get coconut leaves from, man? This is something you can do when you come to Hawaii, man. Hey, if you ever come to, if anyone ever comes to Hawaii, and you guys want to make something like this, just let me know. Let me know. I can meet up with you guys. You can make one all by yourself. Like I can help you guys. I mean, I'll be more than happy to meet up with some, you know, some people. It's all love, all love, positivity, 
Yeah, you spread love, positivity. Is this your first? No, no, I did two before. So this is my third one. CJ, this is my third one. But this is the first time that I got the comments on, man. I didn't know how to do the comments. But I don't like how the comments just pop up and then it gets erased. So once I miss your comment, or if I don't read it fast enough, I don't know where to find it at. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, man? That's right. How you been? How you been, man? Uh, some other things that I know how to make out of the coconut leaf. Um, I know how to make a backpack. Uh, I know how to make, like, um, little bags that you... It's like a little bag that you hang on the wall kind of thing, kind of like an organizer. And that's coming along, you guys. Where in Hawaii do you live? I live in uh, Wailua, North Shore. I live in North Shore, Oahu. I do live nowhere near coconut trees for some <laughs> Yeah. Do they last a long time or do they get dry and brittle? No, they actually last a long time. If you take good care of it, they'll last a long time. But if you leave it out in like the rain and then the sun, yeah, it's gonna get dry and brittle. But you could leave it in the sun. If you leave it in the sun while like and just let it dry out, man, it'll get real strong. It'll get really strong. Hey, nice. Nice, CJ. A backpack? Um... That one is uh it's a little bit easier the backpack is a little bit easier you just gotta make the straps so the only thing hard about it is that there's a lot of different pieces to it you can't just make it out of one leaf you gotta use a few leaves see how it's standing up now see how the rim is standing up now But yeah, I just wanted to uh, practice making a hat so whenever I do the tutorial, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Again, this one, you want to make sure you don't miss any of the leaves. Yeah, that's the main part. You don't want to miss any of the leaves. Because once you miss up, miss the leaf, uh, strong like, um, here, hold on. These are some dry ones. You see this? This is a dry one. It's like, like it, you can, like you got to snap it. You hear that? This is a, uh, but this one has been out in the rain, in the sun. See that? This one, it's been hanging up here. It's, it was hanging up there. 
But you see how like the the poles, we used it to braid around the poles over there. They're still good. They still last a long time. It's just a little, it's a little uh, dangerous having it at the, at the oven where we do the cooking because uh, it could catch on fire. I like it. So do the marketplace sell coconut leaves or do you got to pick the leaves from tree? Oh, uh, like the market, like a, like a, like a food land or something. Hey, what's up, Malu? How you doing, man? Hey, Malu, look what I'm making, Malu. Making some coconut hats, man. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. Malu, what you uh, what you guys up to today? Cool, yeah. I'm trying to practice so I can make a little video about him, Malu. Hey, if you guys aren't following my nephew, please give my nephew a follow as well, both on uh, YouTube, Mamalu Lilo right there, and uh, also um, on TikTok. On TikTok, please give him my nephew. Very, very talented young man right there. Oh, even CJ Piffs. CJ Piffs also has a, a YouTube now as well. Is there anybody else that uh, makes content on YouTube, you guys? Oh, Malu, my, my parents have a show too. My parents have a, they have a show out in, um, all the way in uh, Waimanalo. But I couldn't go because I have to pick up Langi from work. Sorry, you guys. It's coming along. It's just coming along, you guys. Yes. Yes. Man, I want to do a umu soon, man. I think Thanksgiving for sure. I was hoping today, man. I was hoping that there's going to be a umu today, but everyone's busy today, surprisingly. Almost skip the leaf again. Yeah, like a food place. Or, oh, um, you know what? There's, there's a, there's a. If you want, if like, if you want to just buy the hat straight up, there is a, there's a guy that I know. Well, I don't know him, but there's a guy that sells it at the. If you ever come to Hawaii, if you go to the Aloha Stadium, man, he sells all kinds of uh, weaving stuff. He's really good too. It's real clean. His weaves are really clean. But if you want just the leaf, yeah, you gotta you gotta grab the leaf yourself. You gotta go to a tree or find somebody. There's a lot of uh, people that cut cut uh, cut trees down over here, uh, just because uh, it gets a little dangerous, especially if there's like a lot of coconuts. So you don't want to stand under a tree because uh, sometimes if you stand under the tree, you might get hit by the coconut. Sometimes you get hit by a coconut and there is no tree around you. That just means you're in the wrong house. Oh, I went all the way. That was the last leaf. Going live here, I think is way better quality than TikTok. Your live is clear. Oh, nice. Yeah, actually the the camera quality. I don't know if you if you noticed as well, the camera quality on TikTok, like when you make TikTok videos, like if you make TikTok videos right on the TikTok app, that the camera quality goes down as well. It's it's bad. That's why all the videos always look like old videos. Uh, it's because the quality of the like the the app like uh when you use the camera part so this is uh let me show you guys this is a very important part this is a tricky part 
So if you guys remember how I was weaving through uh, four leaves, right? So now all the leaves are done. So now you got, this is where you connect it. You, you, you got to connect it to this front side, all right? So you just got to imagine this first leaf that's braided. So that's the one. So remember I was braiding through four. So this is going to be one, two, three, and that's going to be four. So same thing, you want to twist under, over, under, and then use this as the fourth one. That's the, that's a tricky part right there. And then trying to figure out where it goes. So that's a tricky one. And then you just got to keep on going. So same thing, one, I'm gonna fall, get hit by coconuts. <laughs> yeah, it's a little. It's, some some trees you could just cut. Some trees are pretty low. Some people do that. Uh, some people do that like on purpose. So if you're growing a coconut tree, if you're growing a coconut tree, a good thing to do. If you don't have if you don't have the space, of course you put the coconut tree straight in. But if you have the space, just face the coconut coconut tree to the side. Then when it grows, it'll shoot out sideways. So all you just gotta do is just cut it like that. All right, we got two more leaves left, you guys. Man, thank you guys for hanging out with me. So, so. Guys, I remembered how to make a hat. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. Three. Last tuck right here. Ta-da. All right, you guys. Now it's time to straighten it up. I know it looks funny right now, but... Yes. Uh... Oh, you got to... All you gotta do is put on the flat surface. And straighten it out. Pull these tight. Oh, you see, I, I don't know how to. I missed your message. Do you know how to cut the ones hanging at the bottom, or are you supposed to put it into the head? Oh yeah, you you can cut those off. You can cut those ones off. You could, you could leave it on there if you want, or you could cut it off. Everyone has their own preference. Me, me personally, I like the wild look, so I like to keep mine on. But a lot of people like the clean look, so you could take it off. I'm just pressing it down, you guys. Just pulling, you just gotta pull the, those long pieces that are hanging out. You just gotta pull it to make it tight. Oh, it's perfect for my, for my, uh, <laughs> perfect for my top. I hope you get a YouTube plaque one day, man. That'd be so crazy. So yeah, I'm actually trying to work towards my 4,000 uh, hours, uh, just so I could um, become a part of the YouTube part. I just need 4,000 watch hours. So uh, I appreciate you guys for hopping in the live because this actually helps out with my watch hours. How's the hat, you guys? How's that look? Is that YouTube worthy or not, not yet? Keep practicing. 
Yo, what if I had like claws? What if I had claws? I'd be like uh, Freddy Krueger for Halloween. Freddy Krueger, oh. Or maybe if I had like... You deserve more subscribers. This live stream is so wholesome and calming. Thank you so much, Angela. I appreciate you. Looks great. Thank you, thank you. Thank you guys so much. I, I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. How's that? Uh, thank you, thank you, Shana. You guys want to see my backyard? Have you guys seen my backyard before? You guys want to see my farm? So yeah, a lot of people always ask, oh, why is it so noisy on your, um, like every time when people watch my TikTok, I say, oh, how come I hear a lot of uh, cars? I always hear a lot of cars. Now this is the reason why you guys hear a lot of cars. You see that? So this is my neighborhood, but this house, that the house that I live at, so this is where I do all my TikToks at, you guys. See that? I always do it on that stage right over there. This is my, this is our backyard. This is our house. Our house over here. This is our backyard. But our, our house is the, um, our house is the first house in this neighborhood. So if you ever come this way to Wailua, you see the first house, that's my house. It's a, it's a corner house. We're the first house to this whole, so this whole side of the island, they have to drive past our house because we're the first house. So everyone drives past our house all day, all night. So that's why it's always loud. Uh, we always have a lot of cars. But uh, I'll show you guys our, our backyard, just the back part of it. Well, that is part of our backyard, but this is well. Can you guys see it? There's the mountains. The mountain, sorry, is my hat in the way? So that big pipe, that steam pipe right there, that's actually the, so back in the, back in the old days, probably like the, what, the 50s, 60s, 70s, Hawaii's main export was sugar. That was uh, Hawaii's main export, sugar, pineapples. And that's the, actually the old, that's the old sugar mill right there. You see that? That's the old sugar mill plantation. So all the sugar that came from Hawaii Bay way back in the day came from right there. And that's actually why my grandma came here was to work there. Way back, she came to she came to Hawaii way back in like the forties, nineteen forties, and that's uh, she was working there, hand picking, hand picking every pineapple. It looks like a painting. Yeah, it's beautiful. But this is the country, and this is our little farm. A lot of people ask why are uh, Polynesians so big? It's because we eat this plant right here. So we eat the uh, we eat the uh, the roots of these ones. This is a taro. If you guys ever heard of taro, they make a lot of like taro chips nowadays. Like a lot of things out of taro. It's kind of like a potato, but it's made out of the roots of these. So this is our taro plantation. It goes all the way to the back over there. And then we have like uh, tapioca back there. And then we have uh, fresh KFC over here. Everybody likes KFC. The KFC runs free. KFC runs free. Yo, how's the hat? Oh. And this is our kitchen. This is where we do uh, cooking. But it's a uh, place to hang out right now. The rain has been really bad. After all this mess is over and wave out the car. Yes. Yes. Of course. I love to meet I love to meet people. I love to make new friends. Hang out. So these trees are banana. These are the banana trees, you guys. Banana tree. This uh, plant right here grows a coconut. You see? <laughs> Has one coconut. And then see all these coconuts? So all these coconuts are dead already. 
You can tell they're dead. They they get really light. They in, nothing grows out of them. They're just dried up coconuts. You can't eat them. You can't eat them. Max is probably in the house. This is uh some of the uh, the tea leaf. I, I know someone mentioned tea leaves, so I'm trying to replant these tea leaves. It's good. All you got to do to replant it is cut it down, put it in a, a bucket of water. Then the, once the roots come back out, you just plant it right back in the ground. And then some more bananas. Here's, uh, here's the stage. The stage uh, that I make all my TikToks on. All my videos are right here on this stage right here, you guys. Yay, you got some carvings in the corner. Corners. And then that's the front of the house over there, you guys. But all my family's over there. Bailey Johnson, what's up? How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Uh-oh. How's everybody doing today? Uh-oh. Sorry, sorry. Trying to get used to this still. So I just showed everyone too how to make a hat, you guys. I just made this uh, coconut hat on the live stream. But uh, I am gonna make a little, I'm gonna make a short tutorial on um, TikTok. Probably two videos long. Just a short one just to show the, the process. But I will put a full uh, tutorial on my YouTube page. Uh, is there is there anything that you guys want me to answer like uh, on YouTube like I, I can make a video out of it or something any uh, content ideas I'd be more than happy to take some content requests okay you can make a food market business with all these fresh food you got <laughs> there's actually a you can see it from right here that's a fruit stand right there. They they actually own the farm right across the street. Maybe vlogs. Yeah, I was man. You know what? I was CJ. I was. I remember you saying to do vlogs. I was gonna do a vlog today because my family has a show. So I was gonna show you guys like the process of what we gotta do, get everything ready and whatnot, and then actually going to the show. And I was gonna film the show, but then uh, my wife was working, so I had to go pick her up. Share more of the culture, like legends and stories, or some recipes. Okay, okay, I could do that. But those ones, even those ones too, I gotta do some research, especially on like the legends, uh, especially the legends here in um, in Hawaii, because the legends here in Hawaii are a little bit different than the legends in Samoa, and even uh, even like the legends. So the legends, those are those are that's a hard topic to talk about, because. It's kind of like, uh, you know, what is that called? There's a game where you say something, then the next person says something, and it's a little different. Next person says something, and it's a little different. <clears throat> I forgot the name of that game. But sometimes the legends, telephone, yeah, it's like telephone. And then you got to hear what the first person says at the beginning to the, what the last person says. And it's usually always different. So that's kind of like, that's kind of like how some of the, um, some of the legends. So a lot of times when people post legends or talk about the legends, other people might have a different story. And, you know, sometimes they get, they confront on the videos and they're like, oh, well, the way that I know it, it goes like this. And then like, no, it's supposed to be like this. So sometimes um, legends is a little hard to talk about. But I, I will look into some of those. There are some legends that are legit, like, facts. Like, everyone knows the same story. But some of them, some people hear this story. Some people hear that story. So that's always a tough one. But yeah, man. Thank you guys so much for hopping in the live, man. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, I, I believe, uh, can, can you guys watch my other lives that I posted the other day? Anybody? Cause I went live twice. I think I went live like two days ago. Whisper down the lane. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't remember the name of the game. 
But does anyone, can you guys see my other lives that I, I did? You can? Oh, okay, okay. Yes, I will. So I did, I did some other lives the other day, uh, but they were just, I was just testing it out just to see how it went. Because uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm real new at this uh, YouTube, so I appreciate you guys. Um, and, I, and TikTok, once the live is done with TikTok, that's it, you can't see it again. So, um, but yeah, if you guys, I know the, my lives are a little bit draggy, uh, even, um, it's cause I'm working with the kids as well. Is it day where you live? Yes. It's 328 right now, 328 PM. But I know my, my lives are a little draggy, uh, but the, the lives that I did before CJ, if you want to watch them, bro, are, um, or, or anybody, if you guys want to watch it, are lives from, uh, when I'm teaching the kids. So I was teaching some of the kids uh, fire knife dancing and stuff. Um, but if you guys want to see like the process, they're all beginners. They're all uh, brand new. They just started, but they're picking up really good. So if you guys want to watch and if you guys are interested in spinning the fire like how I do, I do have tutorials on my YouTube page. You guys probably know. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Custom thumbnail for video YouTube studio. I We'll check out your know, other videos as well. All right, sounds good, CJ. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much, guys. But yeah, have a great day. Have a great uh, rest of your holiday, uh, Halloween. Stay safe, everybody. Be safe. Spread love and positivity. Uh, if it, let me tell you guys a quick story, all right, before you guys leave. So the other day, have you guys ever heard of people like paying, like you go to a drive through you go to a drive-thru and then people pay for the guy behind them. Well, I was blessed enough the other day that I was waiting in line. Uh, my wife wanted to eat at Wendy's, so I brought her. And then the, the person in front of us paid. I was so grateful that I, like, we were trying to find the person. We drove out fast trying to find the person, but we couldn't find him. But we're so grateful. And then I was blessed uh, yesterday may be new but you're pro to us hey thank you so much Sean. i appreciate you but yesterday i i did it to somebody else and it was a good feeling uh the person behind me i paid for their their dinner yesterday and it was a it was a good feeling it was a blessed feeling so with that being said you know i pray uh blessings upon each and every one of you guys watching be safe uh be safe over this weekend as well you know there's crazy drivers out there, so please just watch what you're doing. Um, tell your loved ones, the people that are closest to you, just tell them that you love them. And uh, yeah, spread love and positivity, everybody. Stay blessed, everyone. Aloha. Choo-hoo.